everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to talk to you about Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This is going to be a very short review because I'm going to give you a spoiler. I DNF'd this book. So if you're looking for my star rating, automatically a DNF for me is a one star. I did not like it. I did not finish it. And I gave this book till about a quarter of the way through. So like I gave it a decent chance, especially being a contemporary romance, football romance. I was hoping that this book would help get me out of my slump. I used my rules or suggestions that I posted about earlier this week. I picked a book that had tons of ratings, tons of reviews. I'm talking on Amazon, there's 20,000 and the average I think is like 4.7. And then on Goodreads, there's over 40,000 and the average is like 4.4. Those are great reviews. That means so many people have given this book five stars. So I was like, perfect. I want a football romance or a sports romance in general. Contemporary, it takes place when they're out of high school, so they're in college. I was like, this is great. This is what I want. I've heard that it's like angsty and slow burny and like all of this stuff. It was nothing that I expected. Whenever I DNF a book, I do my best to really try not to trash it, but give you reasons as to why I did not like it and did not want to continue reading it. First off, the characters were very young for me, very young for this to be a college contemporary romance. Now, I've read plenty of books where the main characters are freshmen in college are just into college, you know, like I've read that before. That that wasn't the problem in this. The problem was is that it was the summer before college and so they still very much felt and acted like they were just in high school to me. And it felt so young for what they were doing in the book, the way they were behaving. And I just, I didn't really enjoy it. Like it wasn't exciting for me. I was like, oh, you're a children. <laughs> and I, I don't say that in a bad way because like I've been there, but I just say it in a way that like it didn't fit with what I expected a college football romance to be. And because I expected a college football romance, I didn't expect it to be the summer before college where they weren't actually college football players yet. So it just felt really weird to me. I also was having a hard time figuring out what the plot even was besides scene after scene after scene of drunken party, drunken party, drunken party. It just wasn't entertaining to me. I I didn't care to keep reading it. I was like, there's not enough plot to keep me going. I read plenty of books where romance is the only plot, but I didn't like the romance enough in this to care to keep going. I don't want to say that the book hit my icks because I don't think it hit my icks. I just didn't enjoy it and it was very different from what I was expecting out of the book, especially based on how I've seen people talk about it. So this was a no from me. One star, DNF, don't really recommend. Always will say to read whatever book that you want. You you know I never tell people don't read this book. Read it if you want to read it. I hope you like it. Just wasn't for me. Thanks for stopping by to talk about Say You Swear today with me. Don't forget, you can find me on all of the social media. I'll see you guys next time.